Hi guys, I had a ton of fun making this makeup look and video and I actually never made a good cruise makeup before. So hope you guys are enjoyed. It's not really that hard to do. If you're remotely good at makeup, you can do this and you're a beginner. Always try. That's how you get better. So I put on my gown because I thought the colors looked really good. So let's start with the... Okay, so that's my husband trying to be funny. Um, no, not something. He's really this. Anyway, so put your concealer, color corrector, primer, well primer first, concealer, foundation. Do what you have to do for your face. Of course, always primer, then brows. I'm using uh, Jane Rodell and MAC Cosmetics, two of my favorite brands. If you didn't know that yet from my previous videos. And this is an eyelash conditioner because I kind of ripped off some of my natural lashes. I'm trying to treat them better now. <clears throat> So, um, I'm using, this is Harmony Trio Eyeshadow Mineral Trio from Jane Rodeau. And even though it's mineral eyeshadow, they do pack quite a bit of pigment. It, it natural products is not as bad as they used to be in terms of pigments and stuff. So I put the base color first, and you can use any color scheme that you want. When you start with your lightest color, then medium color, I put that on the crease and then we're adding a third color in the crease there and then you'll blend it up I am creating sort of like a cat eye sort of but a cat eye and you're gonna want to blend it up blend it out to the sides and then I'm using this flat brush to add a little bit under the lower lash and on the upper lash too to do that stuff because we are gonna put some concealer too. I just for visual purposes like to do that so I know how my eye looks gonna look for creativity reasons. And I poke myself in, in an eye accidentally. Um, Alright, so never enough blending. And you use your use your pencil when you use your sorry not pencil. Thing, you want to hold it at the end so you're not too heavy handed. But anyways, we're moving on, on to concealer. So what you're going to do, you're going to create this like half, half moon, half shape, half of, half, half of the half, blah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have darker, darker color on the end of your eye. And uh, I'm using concealer to kind of clean up a little bit there and to blend it even more. And uh, we're now the fun part. You're gonna like stick the glitter to your um, to your concealer, and I are hot, so it is creasing already out a lot. And look, I'm matching with my husband's side when we but um, anyways, so but it doesn't matter because the 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 glitter is gonna hide that, so I'm not too concerned about that. If there was anything else, I would be with the primer on top. Um, then I'm gonna use eyelash color, and the thing is, like, if you're afraid of glitter fallout, use like do your foundation afterwards. I wasn't too afraid; we didn't really go anywhere. And I'm using now the pot eyeliner from Jane Ardell. This is kind of beautiful green. Now I am using the Jane Ardell lip crayon. Excuse me, guys. Color Luscious, and then I'll put on top Cosmo lip gloss by Jane Ardell. Now I am using this disposable thing because I used that lipstick on someone else. And now I'm using um, the my favorite cream brush. Oh, Jesus, things are falling out. Which gives the face really nice glow. 
and that's a connection shade. It's a highlighter. They make highlighters and blushes. And then the highlighter color is complete and the blush I used was color connection. And then I'm using the contour. This is not the one I usually use, but I like to switch products up. This one is actually from this like natural brand Sante or something like that. that you get like at Whole Foods. This is that um, the gloss I was talking about. <clears throat> and then there was a tiny bit glitter fall off, so I'm just using this big brush to kind of sweep it off. And then we can go without a false eyelashes, of course. And I wanted to be a little experimental, and this is also not the ones I usually wear, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. I actually liked the look. They look pretty good. And I kind of like pinch them together to match with my relash and then we're we'll do some curling really um so the eye look just you want to make sure to wait while they become sticky and you know you want to rip them off by doing this just i did forget to put eyeliner on so just a reminder for you don't forget to do that and then I use light scapade to mineralize can finish a little bit on the bone there. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and have a brilliant day. I appreciate it you watching. Hope you can utilize this sparkly glam look. Have fun. Subscribe, like and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Like what are you doing? Posing for my video. It's not even zoomed in. Oh, I'll take a screenshot. Because I don't know how. Zoom it in. Zoom.